Hey there, folks. Welcome back. Oh, sorry, I got the mic a little too close to my face there. Anyways, you should be able to hear me a lot better now. So, that was just... That was just my folks calling and whatnot. Anyways, that was about an hour's worth of time from whenever I stopped the video to what you're seeing now, so... And I'm gonna have to rest up. We don't have enough SP to be able to continue on. Anyways, I've been working on my own project for school, so that way I can graduate this quarter. Uh, I've got a month and uh, about a week or two still left. Uh, not counting this month, of course. Uh, where are you? Oh, there you are. The protection from elements. <laughs> and I'll sure of all, uh, take up the slack with Wizard Eye and such. I'm gonna have Cassandra use her magic to protection from magic. Because it just helps and makes much more sense. Okay, we've got Wizard Eye. Uh, not protection from magic, levitate. That's the only other thing I needed. Oh, and light, of course. Seeing where you're going is always a help. Cast. Protection from magic. There we go. And I'll check my protections. Levitate, guard dog. We're good to go. And so we're back to the adventuring and the exploring. I hope you all enjoy. I know I have been. Uh, but for the project that I'm trying to do, I'm coming up with a bit of a snag. Ooh, a statue of a renowned scholar kneels with a book in his hand. Read pages? No, not yet. Few character. Shervala. Do do do. Cast. Ah, dang it. Darn mic came too close to my mouth again. Cast. Lloyd's beacon. Set new beacon. Done. Okay, now we search. After reading the pages, you are enlightened. I don't know what it did. Maybe it gave everybody some experience of some kind. I haven't really been paying attention too much to my experience or whatnot. What have you. I don't feel any more intelligent, that's for certain. Well, whatever. Maybe it was a small experience boost. Can I go back and read it again? Nope. Because it's solid! The monsters are surprised. No melders, wyverns, and leprechauns. Well, we value our gold, so we're gonna get rid of the leprechauns first. And the rest of this should be easy as cake. Cast. Now just shoot them. Now just get rid of the wyverns. I don't think no melders do anything too terrible that we have to worry about. Less shield. And that's it. Go and kill. Somebody got poisoned, but I didn't see who. But oh well. Our AC is just so high that the no Melders can't hurt us now. Though Gene can get poisoned still. But yes, the problem that I'm kind of running into with my game that I'm creating is I have spawn points to create the monsters that I have to fight. Kind of like most uh, side-scroller games do, you know, and you walk off the screen, and you walk on the screen, and a new enemy's there. I'm trying to avoid that kind of a uh, kind of a thing. Make it so that whenever a monster is spawned, it'll home in, it'll try to chase the player down. And then it doesn't respawn again until the player's killed it. I mean, if you wander back to the place where you left the monster off the screen at, he'll still be there whenever you come back. You won't have to worry about respawning again. The problem is, I have to go out and I have to do four loops for the monsters. Which means, uh, for a certain number, uh, I, for whatever, I plus plus, you know, for I equals whatever, or for I less than whatever, and I haven't been paying attention to what I've been saying, haven't I? <laughs> oh, silly me. Okay, let's try this again with less fail. Bless. Shield. The problem is, whenever it comes to a hit test for whenever the, for whenever the player attacks a target, the hit test has to go, you know, for I, for enemy plus I. And, you know, I have to make certain that it knows to look at enemy plus I. I also have to do, I also have to create variables for the individual enemy, being like, you know, whatever this goblin's current HP is plus I, you know, this goblin HP plus I, or goblin plus I HP, whatever. You get the idea. It's kind of a hard thing trying to figure all that out. I'm not a coder, but I have to be in order to be able to program this all out. I'm just glad that I only have to do three levels of this. And then it's like, hey, you're done, you graduated, get out. 
Uh, it was the Hermit that took the damage, right? Yeah. So that's pretty much what I've been working on and what's been driving me up the wall lately. I, I just don't know how to be able to code the thing incorrectly, but I imagine with proper variable handling and just amount of time put into it, it should become self-evident to me. Bug leaders. And I'm just going to focus on killing them as fast as I can. Gene cast... Jeez, just cast anything you can to kill them. At least swarm? I don't know. Cast fireball? Maybe. Man. Well, just don't get... Okay, good. Nothing was stolen. And we'll bless up. Shield up. Now we'll go for them, just like normal. I just don't want them stealing all my gems is all. And my gems are important to me. And we've got such a surplus of gold that we won't need to use it anymore. I have an idea with what to do with all the surplus gold we're getting. Uh, magic herbs, holy charm. I don't think we took too much damage because we have high energy resistance, which is good. But yes. That's just what I've been up to lately, and hopefully I'll be able to finish that, graduate, get a good job, and become financially independent. That's the hope anyways. And let's head out up here, up north, around east, and back down south. Ghouls, lots of ghouls everywhere. They don't do much of anything, but I'll just bless up, invisibility, and then we'll just take care of them as per normal. You know, just auto attack, whatever. They shouldn't even be able to hurt us anymore since we have such high AC. Winner is us, and I don't, yeah, they don't have any gold pieces, which sucks. Illusionists and trolls. Trolls make for good kindling, so I'll probably fireball them once we get a chance here. Cast holy bonus. Uh, I think the mic's getting up into my mouth again. We can hear my voice going like fo -fo -fo -fo. shield and just auto attack. Shoot. Cast. Uh, just yeah, might as well no. His SD is actually really, really important, so let's go fireball. We'll kill a few of them off anyways. And winner is us. 22 gems, not bad. Accuracy gauntlet, not bad. Some good amount of gold. What I plan on doing with the gold that we have, since we have such an abundance of it, like 1.5 million for every individual character, there is a place inside a hillstone. I believe I showed it to you earlier, even, but I can't quite remember. Where you can hand that gold in for experience points. Do a sort of trade in, if you will. Oh, come on. Alright, we gotta head down south. Not that it's gonna be a problem since we've already cleared out all the monsters down here. Just wanna make certain that I have every single tile explored here. See now, auto map. Okay, we've got the middle place and those two squares over here. If I can just remember, you know what? I'll just etherealize through them. Cassandra, cast, etherealize, done. And what a surprise, there's nothing I was missing. And just how do I get out of here? This presents a problem. Because all these walls are... Wait for it. Wait for it. SOLID! 